The real reason I switched to Linux. Why did I decide to move to Linux, and not upgrade to Windows 11? Well, as many of you know, I hate Windows 11 with a passion, and I do not like what Microsoft is doing with Windows, they are turning it into some sort of internet service, rather than a useful utility you use on the computer. Windows 10 was already bad enough when it came to collecting data, shoving ads and bloatware in your face, and sometimes even installing crap like Candy Crush Saga without the user's permission, but Windows 11 has taken things up a notch, now you cannot use it on 32-bit machines, it will only run on Intel or AMD 8th gen CPUs or later, and you're forced to sign into a Microsoft account in Windows 11. Although there are some handy dandy tips out there on how to bypass all of this. Still, it's extra hassle for you if you want to set up a local account, at least Windows 10 will let you set up a local account more easily than Windows 11. I had been planning on moving to Linux for years, especially since I used to have an old laptop that ran Ubuntu Focal Fossa, 20.04 and it ran so much faster than it did with Windows 10, but sadly, that laptop is no longer functional, but I am thinking of getting a replacement in future. On my desktop, I decided to buy a second hard drive, specifically for running Linux Mint, because while I hate Windows, I still need it in some rare cases. For example, when I need to use Windows specific stuff like Voice.UI, however, since I switched to Linux, I have never been back in my Windows 10 system ever since. Another reason I felt like it was worth switching to Linux is because of how much faster my PC feels with Linux Mint, it feels so much quicker and faster than it did on Windows 10. I also wanted to be free from Microsoft's active data collection scheme, which has been only getting worse since it was introduced with Windows 8. Linux Mint does not force you to send any data whatsoever, you don't even have to opt in or out, because I don't think Linux Mint has a telemetry data collection service, unlike Ubuntu and other Linux distros, but even Ubuntu is nowhere near as bad as Windows, sure, it might want users to opt in and send basic diagnostic information, but at least on Ubuntu, you're not forced to use a Microsoft account. Why did I not move to Ubuntu instead? Since I have used Ubuntu many times before, I wanted to taste something different, and that's why I decided to go to Linux Mint, because the user interface is much like that of Windows, and Mint offers three editions, whereas Ubuntu only has Ubuntu Cinnamon, a relatively new flavor recently added to Ubuntu, which could mean that Ubuntu will become more popular than Mint, only time will tell. What don't you like about Linux? Well, as good as Linux is, I will admit, it does have some shortcomings. Wine is great for running basic applications, programs, and games on Linux, but if you're thinking of doing Photoshop, sorry, you're out of luck, because Photoshop is Windows and Mac only, however, if you're on Linux, GIMP is a free Photoshop replacement, and GIMP also works on BSD, Mac OS, and Windows. It is possible to run Photoshop under Wine or Crossover, however, it's much better to use a native app that supports Linux, not use a Windows virtual machine for that one program, or try it in Wine, because you will introduce latency and other issues when doing so, so this is why you need to be sure that if you want to go to Linux, you must only use free and open source stuff, you cannot afford to go to Linux and then need to use something that does not support it natively. How do you use Windows software on Linux? I use Windows software in a Windows XP virtual machine, that never goes online, and the reason I use XP is because I like to test out a lot of older programs and software, such as the Microsoft Agent Scripting Helper, and Bonzi Buddy, as well as some retro games, but I don't really do much else in my Windows VM other than using basic software like Balabulka, eSpeak, Notepad++, etc. Will you ever go back to Windows? Absolutely not. I would like to stay with Linux for as long as possible, and if I buy more PCs, I will turn them into Linux machines, heck, 
I might even try use BSD as the main OS on one, but one thing is for certain, Linux will slowly gain market share, especially if the majority of people cannot afford a new Windows 11 PC or laptop, and if people don't move to Linux, they will probably move to Chrome OS, which is Linux based, and Chrome OS can run Linux apps natively, so you can use things like Shotcut and Jimp on Chrome OS, although a Linux distro will offer a lot more than Chrome OS, simply because you can do more on Linux. For instance, you cannot run virtual machines on Chrome OS, but you can do so perfectly on Linux, regardless of the distro you use. Do you plan on switching to Linux in the future? If so, why? And, would you ever go back to Windows, or stay with Linux forever? Let me know down in the comments section below. Alrighty, that's it for now, I am signing off and I will see you in my next video. Bye for now.